This video will walk you through the steps to install your new Star LED high bay light bulb. You will be required to bypass the current metal halide ballast in your high bay lights. This will allow you to properly install your new Star LED high bay LED light as seen here. Please note that if you have any concerns about performing the steps in this video, we would suggest that you employ the assistance of an electrician. If you or your hired electrician has any questions, he or she can reference this video for detailed instructions or contact Star LED directly. You will first want to disconnect the power before clipping the power cable and removing your old metal halide light from the ceiling. After cooling and removal from the ceiling, place the unit face down to access the junction box. To open the junction box, remove the locking screw with either a screwdriver or a socket wrench depending on what is used during the installation. If corrosion has occurred, you may want to replace the screw and or the junction box. Once the panel is removed, you will see all of the electrical cables from the unit attached using twist-on wire connectors to the power cord. Next, you will want to remove the screws holding the ballast housing together. This can also be done with a screwdriver or a socket wrench. Be careful as to not lose the screws in this process. You will also want to remove the screws that hold the ballast housing to the aluminum light reflector or acrylic light diffuser if applicable. Continue to take apart the junction box and remove it from the ballast to expose the electrical wires. You may want to slide the junction box down the power cable to give yourself some slack to work with. Opening the ballast housing will expose the ballast, typically covered with a protective fireproof paper, and the capacitor as seen here in the back of the housing. Next, disconnect the Y or gray wire, also known as the neutral wire, from the ballast. Then, disconnect the black wire, also known as the hot wire, from the ballast. There is no need to disconnect the green wire, which is ground and should already be connected to the ground on the external cord. You will then want to clip the exposed wire ends for safety purposes. You do not want any open wires to short on the ballast housing. Put all of the non-used wires back into the ballast housing leaving the black, green, and white or gray wire out. Make sure that these three wires are coming out on the top of the ballast housing and make sure that no wires are crimped by the housing which can create a fire hazard. Close back up the ballast housing in reverse order of removal. Remember to replace all of the screws to the aluminum reflector or acrylic lighting diffuser. Next, you will want to connect the power cord to the exposed wires using the proper twist-on wire connectors. This should be simple enough since there is only the black wire and the white or gray wire to connect. Verify that the green brow wire is connected properly and not loose.
Here is a close-up of how the wire should be connected. Next, you will want to replace the junction box in the reverse order of removal. Push the exposed wires into the junction box and close it up. Make sure that you do not pinch or crimp any of the wires in the junction box, which can cause a fire or electrical hazard. Next, open up the box of your new Star LED High Bay light bulb and inspect it for any damage. If you find any damage to your new bulb, please contact Star LED as soon as possible for a replacement. Now unscrew the old metal halide light bulb and dispose of it properly. Simply screw in the new 100 watt cool LED high bay light bay bulb. Next, you'll want to hook your light back into place and reconnect the power cable to the main line using the proper twist on wire connectors. Finally, don't forget to turn the power back on once you have finished and visit StarLEDOnline.com for all of your LED lighting needs.